Hello everyone, welcome to our story time today. Uh, another James Mayhew book, Katie's Picture Show, all about Katie going into the world of these famous paintings. It's a wonderful book and a great way of um, getting children interested in art and those famous paintings that we all love. So I hope you like it. Um, thank you to James Mayhew for this wonderful book and thank you to Orchard Books, part of the Hachette group for letting us read and publish these stories. There you go. And she goes to, I think it's the National Gallery. It's not supposed to be anyway. Katie and her grandma were in London for the whole day. When it started to rain, grandma said, let's go into the art gallery and look at some pictures. Katie took grandma in through a big revolving door. The one marked no entry, of course, spinning her round and round at least seven times. Katie has never been in the art gallery before. It's very grand, isn't it? She said. Oh, I shall have to sit down for a moment after those dreadful doors, gasped Grandma. You go and look at the pictures, Katie. Be sure to be back in half an hour. The first few rooms Katie came to were full of people. Katie didn't like crowds, so she went on until she found an empty room. There were lots of pictures in the room. Katie didn't know which one to look at at first. She stepped in front of a painting of a horse-drawn cart. The Hay Wain by John Constable, she read. Please do not touch. Why not, said Katie, poking a rather dirty finger at the picture. To her surprise, it went right past the frame into the painting. This isn't a picture at all, cried Katie. Astonished, it's real. Then looking carefully around her, she climbed right into the painting. <gasps> This is fun, said Katie. She marched off through the mud towards a cottage. A delicious smell of cooking came through an open window. Katie found freshly baked a freshly baked apple pie cooling on the windowsill. She helped herself to a rather large slice. It was such a good apple pie that she ate the rest as well. Hey, that was my supper, shouted one of the men on the cart. His dog started to bark at Katie and she thought it would be best to leave. She ran back to the picture frame and climbed down into the gallery. Katie peered round the doorway of the next room. There was a guard sitting next to the door, but he was asleep. Katie went right up to the painting she liked best. Jean Auguste, Jean Auguste Dominique Longre, she read. Please do not touch. Of course, she did. Hello, I'm Katie, said Katie to a lady sitting behind a mirror, beside a mirror. A chante, replied the lady. I am Madame Montessier. What a lovely dress, said Katie. Politely, are you French? Mais oui, replied Man Madame Montessier. I am very lonely. We sit here being looked at, but no one has ever come inside before. Now, will you stay for some tea, yes? Please, said Katie. I have some cream cakes too. Now, une lampe ou deux? asked Madame Montezier, pointing to the sugar bowl. Trois, said Katie. Wow, three sugar lumps. So they talked and talked and they enjoyed themselves watching the surprised faces of the other visitors to the gallery. I have not laughed so much for years, said Madame Montezier. She was quite overcome. She had to use her fan to calm herself down. But Katie laughed so much that she spilled her tea, the fourth cup, all over Madame Montessier's dress. Oh dear, you clumsy child, shrieked Mo Madame Montessier. Oh dear, she had also managed to get mud all over the carpet. She decided to leave. She helped herself to another cream cake, climbed out of the picture and back into the art gallery. Katie wandered into another room and went straight up to the biggest picture. Let me see that one there. Pierre Auguste Renoir, Le Parapluie, she read. Huh. Katie knew that that was French for umbrellas. Then she noticed a little girl with a hoop in the painting. I wonder if she'll play with me, she thought. Please do not touch, said the notice, but once again, she did. 
Would you like a cream cake? said Katie to the little girl. Merci, she replied. You can play with my hoop if you like. Sudden, soon they were having quite a game, bowling the hoop to one another. All the other people watched from under their umbrellas. But Katie hit the hoop too hard and it flew right out of the picture. It bounced on the floor and disappeared into another painting. The little girl started to cry. Whoops, said Katie. I'd better try to find it. She jumped out of the Renoir painting and ran over to the other picture. Henri Rousseau, she, she read. Tropical storm with a tiger. Please do not touch. But Katie couldn't see the hoop, so she climbed over the frame and into the picture. Katie found herself in a wild jungle. The wind blew and it was raining very hard. She was rather scared of the tiger, but he was even more scared of her. He ran off into the trees. Katie still couldn't see the hoop, so she wandered off to explore. Eventually, she came to a lake full of crocodiles. They snapped their jaws at her, but Katie just laughed and climbed up a banana tree where they couldn't reach her. She helped herself to a banana. Just then, Katie saw the hoop hanging on a branch. She pulled it down and then found her way back to the picture frame and, and jumped into the gallery. Katie threw the hoop back into the Renoir picture. Here it is, she said. The little girl was very pleased. They waved goodbye to each other and Katie ran off into the next room. Exhibition of modern art, read Katie. All the paintings are lent with kind permission. Do not touch. Katie looked at a very different picture. Kazimir Malevich, Dynamic Super Suprematism, she read. Hmm. It would be fine to climb up that big triangle, she thought. Without checking to see if anyone was watching, she climbed into the painting. When Katie reached the big triangle, she climbed up to the top and slid down the other side. Wonderful, she cried. That was the best picture yet. But Katie couldn't stop and she fell further and further into the painting. It was like falling into a great big mouth. Help, she cried. She was very scared. She didn't want to be eaten by a piece of modern art. She heard a shout. Hang on there. It was the guard. He threw a rope into the painting. Katie held on to it and with all her strength, the guard pulled her back into the picture frame. That'll teach you to obey notices, he said. Sorry, said Katie, who was covered in splodges of paint. I don't think I'll ever do that again. After that, she cleaned herself up, which took quite a while because the splodges of paint were so sticky. Katie thanked the guard and went off to find her grandma. Grandma was snoozing on a comfortable chair. You're late, she said. You're late, she said, when Katie woke her. I hope you had a nice time. Yes, thanks, said Katie. I really like looking at pictures. It has stopped raining now. So after Katie had bought postcards of her favourite pictures, they went to find a cup of tea and a cream cake. There. So I'll just read you the bit from the end. Um, it's got a nice bit about the paintings here. So, the Hay Wayne is in the National Gallery. Madame Montessier is seated in the National Gallery. The Parapluie is in the National Gallery. So is the Tropical Storm of the Tiger. And Dynamic super, Suprematism is in the Tate in London. So hopefully when they open again in the future we'll be able to go and see those. As Katie discovered, art galleries are full of wonderful paintings to enjoy. You will have to visit London to see the real paintings in this book. But there is sure to be a museum or gallery near you where there are interesting pictures too, to see. Many of them will have a special children's guide. Although in the story, Katie did not touch the, did touch the paintings, you must not. This is because all the paintings are very precious and could easily be damaged. Don't try to look at too many paintings on one visit. Just choose a few, as Katie did, and look at all the details, shapes and colours. All artists have a different way of seeing the world around them. If you paint a picture, it won't look like anything, like, like anything like the one a friend might paint. James May Mayhew painted the pictures of Katie and her adventures, and you will see that these pictures look different from the five paintings Katie climbed into. So 
when you visit an art gallery, look really hard at the paintings and see how much you can find out about the way the artist paints. So thank you very much for listening today. I hope you've enjoyed that and you can watch it again if you want. And I look forward to reading some more stories to you soon. Bye bye everyone. Bye.